Hi everyone, I'm Rihanna, and I'm going to show you how I set up my Epson 2720 EcoTank on my MacBook Pro. So uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the Epson, um, you want to go to the Epson website. Here's the Epson website you, and download the drivers. I've already downloaded these drivers. So I'm gonna go to my downloads. Here's my driver. And here's the Epson. We're gonna open this. And then um, you're gonna go through the entire Epson software. It takes about 10, 15 minutes, the entire process. Um, when you're going through the, to set up for your printer options as well. I also um, can, you can set up your printer driver in the printer setup when your printer is recognized on your network. Um, the initial is, comes up as secure air print. If you want to go to um, your system printers and scanners, here's the printers and scanners. And you can see like I have one Epson printed up. And if you look in the options and supplies, it will give you these options, um, the supply levels, the utility, um, the printer utility. Here's what the printer utility looks like here. And it gives you all the different options so you can see. Let me say it okay. And then you can see it's still installing. It takes a couple minutes. Yet yeah, we're gonna hit OK. And then you'll see the different. There's really not much difference between these two, but this one, this series two, has the all the options um, available, especially when you go to like Photoshop or the program that you're printing from. So I'm going to actually open Photoshop as well. So here's my Photoshop. I'm going to open this. Here's an image. Um, we're going to open the print option. So here's a regular setup. If you just don't set up the drivers, um, if you go into your print settings, it's, it happens when you look at the media type so media type and it only gives you like these epson options here and um here's like the different color options that it gives you it's different um epson vivid adobe rgb it's really for um the epson vivid is for like the inks that come with the printer photo enhance or off it doesn't do anything um I won't mess with any of those. So that is on there. Oh, and you can also go into, so your printer settings and then you can hit mirror image. Um, and remember to save that preset. Keep forgetting to save this preset for that, to mirror the image, we'll save that. And then if you go, if you see the Epson series two, this has the actual driver set up and we'll go to those print settings and we'll go back to the print settings. And here's the options, premium presentation matte, high quality. We're gonna mirror this image and you see I've, I will save this as this setting for this printer, sublimation. So I know that this is the sublimation print settings for this. And then you can go in here and we'll see the different color options. But this, um, I have the print management um, set up for 
the printer managing the options. So those are the print options for this printer. This is what it comes up when you click start for this printer and hit start. The ink is charged. I connect through the wireless setting, set up printer for the first time. Um, if it's not on your network, mine is already on the network. We already know this. And then you'll click the start network setup. So setup is in progress, progress, progress. Um, we'll add the printer and here's where it pops up. So here's the, the regular Bonjour printer um, where it has the secure air print. But what you actually want to do is hit the Epson driver and that's going to install the actual Epson driver to give you all of the options. And then you'll continue. Then you can print the press uh, print a test page if you want. Um, I print test pages when I set up a new printer. We're going to hit continue. And then if you want to register your product, I do not. And then Epson Connect is where you can print from any device um, with an Epson email print, like an email for your printer. I have it up for my HP too, but I'm going to skip that. So now we are set up and complete. I'm going to close all those. So we'll go to system preferences. Here's system preferences. And then you're going to go to printers and scanners and see how it opens printers and scanners. I have an awful lot of printers here because I keep setting this up. We're going to actually delete this one and you'll see the difference. So here's options and supplies. Um, I have these settings, thick paper on, quiet mode on, high spring printing off, white borders on, 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 and then the supply levels and then the utility. And then it just opens that utility again. We'll hit OK. And then here is the options here. Options, same options there. This actually shows the um, supply levels because it's directly connected to the printer. And then you can open the printer utility from there as well. And then here is the Epson utility printer that you can see. So that is how I set up my printer. Um, I'm going to test the different printing um, color managements just to see how I get better prints. Um, my prints actually come up pretty good. I don't have any lines. I set up the printer alignment, um, ran the test pages, and everything came out great. Um, the only thing that I notice is that I can't when I print from one program um, in InDesign, I don't have color management options for some reason. It won't let me. And then um, I print from Photoshop and all the printer options are there. So I hope that helps. Thanks.